Welcome back to See the Stories. Now, as promised, because it's nearing dinner time, we have some recommendations for you. We have Pauline still here in the studio. So, can you tell us, Pauline, about the history of Mi Belitung Atem? And of course, we have this, in case you haven't seen, we have a table right here. Um, Pauline, so, what is the, <laughs> the history. history? The history of the uh, Mi. Mi Belitung. So it was started in 1973. Mm -hmm. My grandmother, who started this business, or about 50 years ago. Mm. Yes. So at first, our business was not growing really well or not growing significantly because there were many competitors. Mm -hmm. And me, Belitung itself is a traditional cuisine, which each family has their own recipe, oh. and they could make it easily at home. So it was not growing so significantly, but my grandmother was left with no choice other than continuing this business because she needed to support her, his, her family. Mm. But fortunately, thing, things got better and better. Uh, uh, thanks to Andrea Hirata, <laughs> the author of Laskar Pelangi or yeah, Ranger yeah, Trips yeah. novel, and after the launch of the Laskar Pelangi movie. Movie, right, yeah. Right? So Belitung Island became one of the top destination touristic place of mm. Indonesia. And more and more and more people come to Belitung and they try me Belitung. Oh, wow. yes. interesting so, history. Wow. So now, could you please uh, tell us how to prepare the Mi Belitung, mm -hmm. famous Mi Belitung? Yes. What so, do we need? Yeah. So in Mi Belitung Atap, there are a lot of condiments and also uh, the star of the show is the soup itself. Mm -hmm. mm. Right. Inside of the soup, there are shallots, garlic, sugar, salt. Uh, candle nut, mm -hmm. nutmeg, galangal, flour, pepper, and also shrimp stock. Oh, shrimp oh, stock. Shrimp yes. stock. That's the secret. Wow. So wow. for the condiments, there are uh, bean sprouts, cucumber, tofu, shrimp bakwan, uh, potatoes, mm -hmm. shrimp, lime, and you can add some chili as you wish. Okay, ah. okay. We also use uh, the noodles here and also umping as the crackers. Okay. And, and this is the infamous daun simpur. This is the star of the show as well. Daun simpur, it looks similar, similar like thick leaf. Yeah. But however, if we pour the hot boiling soup toward the leaf, it will bring some special scent or special aroma that I, I, I think that people in the studio could smell. But unfortunately, for those of you who are watching uh, at home, you can come visit our restaurant, the, the nearest of your home. Well, right. I won't be asking you about the secret recipe, no, but right. I just want to know, uh, making this soup, uh, how long does it take usually to make this? It takes yes. five hours perhaps or... <laughs> For all of this thing, it takes about two until three hours. Oh, so not, not too long to not make the well, broth. Right. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. So what do we do? So at first, I'll take the plate here uh -huh. and I'm going to place the leaf on top mm -hmm. of the plate mm -hmm. like this. So a little birdie told us that this is another symbol of ASEAN because uh, the simple flower is the national symbol of Brunei. Brunei. Brunei right. Darussalam, exactly. There you go, a community in one plate. Right, community <laughs> in one plate. Right. So after I put uh, the plate, the leaf on top of the plate, mm -hmm. I'm going to take some bean sprout. Okay. Like this. Okay. And then on top of it, I'm going to take some noodles. So this was already portioned for two. Right. So, so some people, they ask me like, why there are a lot of things inside of me Belitung Atap? For me, it reflects and it resembles the uh, Belitung as a melting pot mm -hmm. of cultures mm -hmm. in Belitung Island. So you could find a Chinese culture, Malayu culture, Javanese culture, and etc. And they are mixed together to create harmony, just like Indonesia and mm -hmm. just like ASEAN. Okay. Together, cre we create harmony. Uh, this is what happens when the seller of Mi Belitung has a degree in international, international relation. relation. Everything knows. has a philosophy behind it. Yes. Very interesting. As it should be. I yeah. mean, there must be a reason why they have, uh, you know, the curators uh, of the ASEAN Weekend Market approach. Mm -hmm. Of course, Mi Belitung Atap so. So while you are plating, I would right. like to ask, um, right. earlier you mentioned that you are the third generation, third generation who run this business, right? So the question is, how uh, 
how do you stay consistent mm, all right. this time to maintain the uh, quality, oh. the taste? Because usually, um, I see businesses out there uh, that has been passed from generation to generation. Sometimes the taste changes, right? Yeah. But for this, I believe that you maintain right. the original recipe, the original taste. How did you do it? Yes, like what I've mentioned before, that quality is the most important thing mm. and customer satisfaction is our top priority. So, we still bring the leaf from Belitung and yep. also some part of the uh, spice herbs and spices. For example, like pepper. Because the pepper that we find in Belitung tastes differently with the pepper in oh, Jakarta. Really? So we still... Is it more spicy or...? You should try it by yourself. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Right, so you I should can't visit wait. Belitung. This is a good sign because it means can't we get wait. to eat. <laughs> you, should, you should visit Belitung by yourself. And yes, we will. Definitely on top of our list. Okay. So I have put all of the condiments on top of the mm -hmm. uh, simpur leaf. Yep. And now the start of the show itself, which is the soup. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pour the soup toward the, the leaf and the dish. I'm getting and my nose ready for right, the aroma. Right, the aroma. Let's get a close up. <laughs> get a close up of... Wow. Let's smell the aroma. Just like Indonesia, there are a lot of things that mix together, like culture, yep. language, and etc. And then we together create harmony in our in our nation, right? So, in all, are all the mi blitung in blitung using the daun simpur, or just the specialty of mi blitung atom? So actually, this leaf daun simpur is uh, is a leaf that is used by the people there as the base of as the base of dish. For example, like daun pisang in yeah. Jakarta. Mm -hmm. so they say that this, this, this leaf will give more aroma and more sensation. So as Mi Belitung Atep, we want to provide the best sensation of enjoying Mi Belitung Atep just like in Belitung. Ah, oh. right. It's the right. signature of Belitung. Right, that's right. So, Oh, I can smell it already. Can you, Kai? Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> And last but not least, I'm going to put the toppings here, which is um, pink crackers. Oh, yum. Um, pink crackers. Wow. Okay. And voila. Here you have wow. mi belitung atta. So lots of uh, taste and um, texture in one plate. Yeah. Have the mm. crunchy empin crack. I don't want to ruin this. Noodles. This is already so perfectly put together. Can, <laughs> can we try it now? Or yes. <laughs> I need a fork. Thank you. Okay. Should we get all of this in one bite? Or? You can mix it just like bubur in Indonesia. Like bubur. <laughs> do you, you can mix it? Do you mix your bubur? No. I do. So <laughs> it's good. Okay. So, uh, but I, I do mix my meat. Yeah, but you're right, the right. texture is like uh, mi kangkung, yeah. It's similar like mi kangkung, mm. mi medan, or mi celor from mm. Palembang. Oh yeah, you're right. Mm. It's got that umami taste with a hint of sweetness. And, mm. ooh, double carbs, noodles <laughs> and potatoes. Yum. Let's try the soup with something crackers. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. It's got that shrimpy base. Yep. And I do, I do smell the, um, I do taste and actually scent the, the down simpur. Exactly. It's very yummy. I think I want to make this at home. So perhaps could you guide me um, how to cook this um, an easy way? An easy, easy way. way. Mm. <laughs> the easiest way is just to, just buy the, the noodle. I but if it. you want to make it more little challenging and more hotter, first things first, you have to prepare all the condiments here mm -hmm. from bean sprout, cucumber, and etc. And then for the soup, the star mm -hmm. of the, the mm -hmm. dish, that you have to add all together the herbs and spices. You know, I understand why she said the pepper tastes it's different. different. It's not as hot in your stomach as the pepper here in Java. I can taste the pepper, but, but it's not peppery and hot in my <laughs> stomach. I love that. Maybe I should start buying pepper from Belitung. <laughs> so, right. so in order to make the soup, we got to saute all the ingredients first and then add water. Add water. And then thicken it with what? 
with flour. With flour, mm, okay. Right. We can use any anything we have at home. Perhaps rice flour? Uh, actually, uh, there, there are plenty of recipes that you can find in the All internet. Right. But the things that differentiate with uh, bleed, me, Blitung Atap, with others, first we use the, the this leaf, the simple leaf, mm -hmm. and also the, the, gramish, the gramation of the age of the spices, mm. herbs and spices. Mm. I can't stop eating. I can't stop eating. So good. It's dinner time already, so. <laughs> mm. So, um, what as a growing up, you know, as a as a third generation of uh, owning or running the business of Mimilito Atep, right? Has there been any unique stories from you? What has been the most unique experience? Because I know third generation means you have to preserve a recipe. You have to do due diligence for your family. Any any interesting stories like the way your grandma perhaps taught you? Was that one of your favorite things or something like that? Maybe I can tell you one funny story about mm. the name. So, Mimilito Atep. A lot of people they don't, they uh, they don't know that what does Atep mean. Okay. So they think that Atep is a name belong to a guy or a male name because we know that that is a famous professional football player from West Java named Atep Rizal. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> However, Atep itself is the name of my grandmother, the really? sweet the sweet sweet lady. Uh, Madam Atep. Mm -hmm. so, oh. Atep itself is not her real name, it's a nickname given by the people. So when she was little, she was a, ch a little chubby girl with a fair skin like this. Like mm -hmm. she, she looked like me and I totally look like her. Okay. Oh. So that's why a lot of people call her as Big or Big Atep and me as the little Atep. Oh, so, so yeah. cute. So that's connection uh, right there. Right. So when the customers uh, come to uh, her restaurant and they found find out that oh Atep is not a male, it's not yeah. a man, it's you, a uh, sweet pretty lady. Yeah. And they were quite surprised, but she, it's fine. And also my grandmother, she loves singing. She sings a lot. Mm -hmm. So if it is your lucky day, you'll find her sing to the customers. Ah, oh, that's her your restaurant. grandmother. Yes, that's oh, my grandmother. Hi. So she is 78 years old now. So she loves singing. She, and obviously, she sings in Mandarin, yeah. in Chinese language. However, some people maybe do not understand the meaning of the song, but they still enjoy her little her little concert at her restaurant. Oh, nevertheless. so lovely. What a lovely story. Will you pass this to the next generation? <laughs> Will you as expand the business as <laughs> well? As the third generation, I, um, I think, of course, it is a true legacy that is it is, it is not a burden, but it is a responsibility that is given from my grandmothers to my parents. And now it is our time. It's your mm. time. It's our time together to expand, to make it become, uh, to bring it to the more uh, source of growth, to introduce it to international market, for example. So, mm. yeah. Well, uh, luckily that the third generation is an expert in international relations, so she will be able to build that international network. So all the success to uh, me, Belitong Atep, because this is, this is so good. I love the so peppery good. taste without the hotness in the stomach. Yes. I could live that all day. Yes. Thank you so much for being Thank with you. us here in the studio and for sharing yes, the for simple sharing. version of the recipe. We will surely make this at home. Uh, and we're going to finish this, so we're going to have to take a little break. Yep. And when we return, we will have more updates for you about ASEAN Weekend Market. Stay with us.